part of New England Wildflower Society. Um, that's that's been one of the oldest uh, national conservation plant conservation groups. Started around 1900. We um, acquired this Lummi farm. It's one of our sanctuaries. We have about five, five to seven of them around New England states. What's unique about Nisami is it's also our native plant nursery. So we grow uh, native plants from wild collect mostly from wild collected seeds that we collect ourselves. These are common, common uh, native plants that we propagate here in the greenhouses. We sell them in our retail area up here at the building and then we also sell them for co uh, contract growers who are doing restoration work and people who just want to, we have like meadow kits so people can um, kind of create meadows in their lawns and, and things like that. So I can give you a, a walk around the property. So uh, this was originally owned by the Augusts who uh, had a Christmas tree farm and trees and shrubs and they still live um, about a house or two over and so it was kind of um, transferred over to New England Wildflower as a as a property. It's about 75 acres. It goes all the way down. This is our prop house where we do we have it all heated up and I can show you what we're doing inside there if you want to take a look. So these are some of our harder to grow uh, natives. They So we do some research and trying to different techniques to get them to propagate. Uh, this is some of our like mountain laurels and ericaceous. We've got some blueberries. This is the pitcher plant which is a not up yet so you can't see it but it's a bog a bog plant a lot of these need a cold period of stratification so we'll sow them in the in, in december keep them in a cold uh, greenhouse and then we just moved them in here about a month or two ago and uh, they started sprouting coming up you can see right here these guys for instance some grasses and then what we do is we then sh um, divide these out into plugs to grow off and I'll show you that that. These are all of our milkweeds that our monarch butterflies love. Oh, is it getting fogged up from the heat in here? <laughs> we have to acclimate a little bit. So in early March we start thinking about what we're going to propagate and we bring in the flats that we want to start uh, into the warm greenhouse and everybody starts germinating. These are some flats that are germinating and then we have a crew of volunteers and interns and staff that will uh, divide all our seedlings into plug trays Watch that. Yeah. I'll give you a little example of that over here here's Kate our intern this year and she's she's uh, grading out Tiarella cordifolia which is a foam flower it's one of our woodland natives and so we put them in these little plug trays and these are gonna, they all get labeled for our, uh, the job is color coded and uh, yeah, we grow them off. And I believe last year we put out about 50,000 plugs, so about 50,000 of these guys um, to our custom growers and our retail. We supply, like I said, our retail and we also supply Garden in the Woods, our horticulture department uh, with plugs. They're in the middle of redoing the whole garden, so we're growing a lot of that off for them of native plants. We collect the seeds from wild populations. Um, we get permission from the landowners. Um, they're all common plants, so we don't touch any of those rare species. You've got fantastic germination. Yes, it really worked out well this year. We were seeing a little bit of uh, troubling mold, so we pulled, because they like to be under the shade a lot, so we pulled them out to kind of dry them off a little bit, but yeah. And we bought them water with rainwater, we found, for these guys. Just for these special guys, most of, most of them we have wells, but. And yeah, just check out our retail space up there and see what we, we do. We also offer classes and workshops, both here and at uh, Garden in the Woods in Framingham. Follow me in here. So, yeah, let's take a look at our high-tech ferns. So we're just start, starting to acclimate them to uh, a lower humidity and that's why we have uh, these little mini hoop houses that we open up and allow the humidity to escape for a certain number of hours per day and then we increase it every day by a little bit to get them ready to be transplanted and back down to the greenhouses. All kinds of fun things, microscopes to check them out. And this is where we do our workshops and we have them. And this is our, our garden shop which is 
just starting to get uh, inventory in. We'll have books and pots and locally made items as well as um, all of our plant material. And that will be opening April 30th for the season.